Welcome back guys to Jared the Journeyman. Today we want to go over how to calculate voltage drop. There's been some questions on how to do that so today we should clear up how simple it is to get that done. First off, what is voltage drop? Voltage drop is defined as the amount of voltage loss that occurs through all parts of the circuits due to impedance. So it's all parts of the circuits due to the resistance of of the circuit itself so how do we calculate voltage drop we use this formula right here which is voltage drops equals two times k times i times l divided by cm which is your circle mills also you can do it two times k times i times d so it's two times kid and that helps you remember a little bit better than two times kill, whatever you want to, or how you want to remember it. All right, so what does K stand for? K is the constant, and that depends on the type of wire that you're trying to figure out. For um, copper, we use 12.9 as a, as a number, and aluminum is 21.2. Those two are always the same depending on what, what um, material you use. And usually if they ask you a voltage drop question on a test, they will give you either copper or aluminum. Or at the beginning of the test, if they say they don't specify, it will always be copper. <clears throat> Sorry. So I, I is your current. In Ohm's law, I equals current. So I is your current or your amperage of all of the circuit. D or L is your length or your distance of the circuit just one way. So from the panel to the end of the device is where you get your, your distance from. So let's, let's see if we can figure out this question. What is the voltage drop on a 120 volt circuit? The circuit uses a 12 odd copper conductors and has a load of 20 amps. There's a distance of 125 feet from the panel to the load. So right there, that question gives you everything you need to know. So here we go. How do we calculate it? We use this formula right here. Here's the question right here. What is the voltage drop? First off, let's figure out what K is. In the question, it told us that we had number 12 copper conductors. So we're going to use 12.2 or 12.9 to go into the K section. Next, we got to figure out I. I is current. And right there, it tells you right there, the load of 20 amperes was used in this question. So I is 20. Next, we have to find the distance. The distance is 125 feet. They told us there. So KID or KIL, there's all your information you need there. Only thing we're missing is the circle mills. Now, to find circle mills, we have to go to chapter nine, table eight in the code book. You go to chapter nine, table eight, right here, chapter nine, table eight, and we start looking up the size of our wire, number 12. So first off, right here's our size. So we go on down. We can go down and find our size there. Also, our circle mills are right here. So we go down, find the number 12 off the size of wire we have. Our circle mills are right here at 6,530 circle mills. Guys, don't use the metric side. Always use the right side, which is the American standard side. So we plug that, we all, we can plug 6,530 into our formula. And it looks something like that. 2 times K, which is 12.9, times 20, which is our current, times 125, which is our distance, our length, divided by 6,530. So... You multiply all that out, you get 64,500 divided by 6,530. 
and you get a voltage drop of 9.8774 amps. Sorry, volts. And so the answer, the question was, what's the voltage drop of 120 volt circuit? The circuit uses a 12 AUG copper conductors and has a load of 20 amperes. And there's a distance of 125 feet from the panel to the load. The voltage drop is 9.874 volts. Guys, that's, that's it right there. That's the easy way to do voltage drop right there. Just remember two times kid, two times kill over the CM equals the voltage drop. And you can figure it out. Go back to chapter nine, table eight, look for your CM and, and plug that in. And for now, that's all I got. That's as easy as that is. So just work that simple formula. And hey, while you're at it, if you got something out of this, give me a subscribe. I'm trying to get my subscriptions up, my subs up. So uh, hit the little subscribe button for me, just like you hear in all the other videos. Uh, I'd appreciate it. So that's it for now. You guys be safe out there and we'll see you next time.